Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to descale this Amazon Commercial Barista Espresso Machine with Grinder. Model number B087XM5LJ. So you have a status indicator right here. If this little indicator light is flashing at you all the time, that means it's time to descale. So if your um, machine is getting really loud and producing a lot of steam, it also could mean that it's time to descale. And if it's taken a long time to heat up the water, and if your espresso is not as hot as it used to be, those are all signs it's time to descale. So we'll be using this today. This is this Dezik, uh, and you can get it off of Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the show description notes. It's a descaler for espresso machines. So the ingredients are citric acid and sulfamic acid. So you're gonna need two containers. One has 32 ounces we're gonna mix the descale with. So you're gonna take the package, you're gonna put it in this container. Now we need to put 32 ounces of water with this and dissolve it. We'll need to stir it up a little bit to get it nice and dissolved. Okay, so here's what it looks like when it's all dissolved. Now the water tank here on the back, if it had any water in it, remove it, because we're only gonna put the descale solution in here now. We don't need any extra water. Okay, so make sure the unit is on. We're gonna long press the double and the power button to go into descale mode. Okay, we're in descale mode. Okay, so you need to get a container under the water wand or the steam wand. Okay, you're gonna, ro you're gonna rotate this knob to the steam position to the right. So it looks like we could put a container underneath here too. And for the steam wand. Because we've got descaling agent coming out of both of them. Okay, so now it's kind of gone into a surging. It was letting water flow out pretty good. Now it's kind of surging a little bit. So this takes approximately five to seven minutes. Okay, when it's finished, this will start flashing. The steam will start flashing. Okay, so now it's stopped surging. Now it's kind of gone back to running water out both nozzles. Okay, so it beeped once and now the standby indicator light's flashing. So this went out, and we need to throw this back to standby. Now we're still in descale mode. Okay, so this is the amount of descaling solution we got left. We're supposed to throw this away, wash this out with soap and water, and fill this up with fresh water. We're ready to do our fresh water rinses. Okay, so I, I emptied out those two containers. I've got the, the water tank filled back up with just fresh water. I rinsed it out with soap and water, and now, I'm going to throw this to the left now. We want to do fresh water rinses. We're going to throw it to the water. I'm going to get water coming out the steam wand and where the shower head is. This is called the fresh water rinsing. And so this process right here will take about five to seven minutes. So after we're all done, this light will go out and then we'll throw this switch back to the standby position and all the lights will come on. We're out of descale mode, but we need to let this finish first and it's kind of pulsing. And we know we're in descale mode because this light is still on. Okay, so after pulsing for a little bit, then it goes back to running water full force. Okay, there was one long beep. This is flashing to tell us to move this back to the standby position. Now all the lights are on. We're out of descale mode. We've rinsed the descaler out of it and the machine is ready to use. If you still wanted to run some fresh water through it, you could hit the double espresso. That would, that would keep running some more fresh water through it and you could do some more hot water through the wand. Because we do have quite a bit of water left in there. We could rinse some more out. Thanks everybody for watching. Check out my other video. I have a detailed video on how to use this, how to set the um, program for the espresso shot, how to set the grinder program. Thanks everybody for watching.